So far in my PVC bed series, I've completed the platform bed frame and the enclosure. Today, I'll be adding accessories that'll keep important things conveniently accessible for when I need it. To see how I do this, stay tuned. I'll be working on four different accessories today. These are accessories I feel are important to have at my bedside. They basically replace a nightstand, which I currently do have, but it's on the other side of the enclosure. Also, most of the accessories will be snap-ons using a typical T-joint. This gives the flexibility for repositioning the accessory if needed. I like this idea because where a nightstand is centralized with all my stuff, a snap-on accessory can be placed anywhere where there's an enclosure post to snap it onto, allowing me to spread things out. With that in mind, let's get started. The item I need by my bedside most of all is my phone, because on my early days for work, it's my alarm clock. I can usually wake up before the alarm goes off, but on a work day, I'd rather wake up to the alarm and get as much sleep as possible. Since at the time I'll also be charging my phone, I have to keep in mind the accessory's proximity to an electrical outlet. Here are the parts that will make up my bedside phone stand. The black thing is the Tylus Z-Grip that will hold the phone using a spring-loaded clamp mechanism. I used this same clamp in the video, Convert a Cheap Smartphone into a Dash Cam, for which you can find a link to in the description. I could have mounted the Z-Grip to a plug and T using an angle bracket, but to avoid having to visit the hardware store, I went the PVC only route instead. This next accessory is meant to hold small random items I happen to need at my bedside. Mounting will be similar to the phone holder. Here are the parts for the miscellaneous items holder. I like that the mounting system is a lot simpler, which saves on PVC costs. And here's the completed accessory. Where the phone holder is at the head area of the bed, I probably want this accessory around the waist area so I won't have to reach very far to grab things. Having a TV I thought would be nice since I would probably use it to cast my laplet binder to to have a more comfortable viewing screen. Thanks to the coincidental spacing between the rafters of my enclosure, the 24 inch TV I plan to use aligns perfectly with both rafters. Mounting the TV was extremely easy. After I cut the two angle aluminum pieces to length, drilled the mounting holes and screwed them in place, I was done. Here's the mounted TV, which will be in use only temporarily. It's got a crack in the screen, but its purpose here is to demonstrate the mounting process. It's one of those items that will be replaced along with the mattress and the partitions. At this point, I didn't feel like I needed additional accessories by my bedside, but because nightstands provide some desktop space to place random things on, I felt it might be useful to have a little space for that purpose. For the design I came up with, these are the parts needed. The PVC parts are similar to the phone holder. Here's a time lapse of the assembly. Not shown here, the flathead screws holding the desktop down will be recessed and covered with wood putty. The desk will go through multiple iterations of clear coating and sanding until a surface smooth enough for writing is achieved. And here's the completed mini desk. The desk will be able to swivel out of the way and also tilt forward and back. A strange thing happened last night on my new bed. I fell asleep while watching my overhead TV and when I woke in the morning, it was two hours later than usual. For some reason, I slept better than I've ever slept in months. Overslept, but in a good way. I'd like to think it was because of the new bed configuration along with the relaxed environment of my bed enclosure. 
I guess I'll have to see if that's true over the next month or two. You can leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now and I'll catch you in the next video.